Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Saturday. It is April 30th and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I have some great things to share in this video. I cannot believe tomorrow is May 1st. April absolutely flew by. It was a very productive month. I got a lot done and I'm going to be sharing that with you. It was almost a monogamous April for me, which is extremely rare. And I will explain that in a minute, but I'm going to show you two other things I worked on before I show you what I was working on the big project. All right. So this is by Kathy Schmitz. It's called gather blessings. It's an embroidery stitch along that I do one block a month and I added mainly did yellow so you can bring that in and I'll definitely be putting pictures in on the end but look at how cute that is and I love the bunny rabbit in April they're all cute and I'm definitely kept up with that uh, so that was one piece that I worked on now the next piece now I know you're gonna be like does that even count <laughs> It does because I did start it. Now I'm doing a wordplay every month and that is May. And I love doing them all. Now, now don't laugh. <laughs> this is all. And I've been on top of it, but um, you'll understand in a minute. And that's what I did so far. Now I will pick this up and finish this in the next couple days. I was really busy on another project. I went off the railroad tracks, went down the rabbit hole. You could say whatever you want. That's why I don't do like stitch alongs and have exact plans. Cause I just fly by the seat of my pants. I really do. And that's just how I stitch in this year at market. There was a piece that just totally grabbed me and I don't know why that is but sometimes that is just how it works out and that is this is the day by Plum Street Samblers I don't know why this piece called my name and I literally had to stop everything I was doing and stitch this piece I don't know why but I had to so I'm going to show you, I actually was going to do a vlog and show you like in sections of stitching the piece, but for some reason, technology is not working <laughs> and it's not letting me piece it together. So I'm going to see if I could put in one piece of it. And if I cannot, you'll know that I told you I could not put it in, but I'm going to show you this beautiful amazing piece and just take a look at this piece it's beautiful uh, this is stitched on 36 count legacy Endenburg by picture this plus and I'm looking down at my notes and I'm lucky I can read it because I don't have my glasses on so now you can see on the roof I did that in DMC 645 in the pattern let me see if I could show you it has like a, a pink coral type roof. I did gray. I wanted my piece to be different because I know tons of people are going to be stitching this and I really like the gray. Now gray and pink, it reminds me of the eighties. Yes, I grew up in the eighties. Listen, eighties was a great time in my life. <laughs> I love the eighties. So I did the roof in gray, the middle of the sun over here, they called for 818, which is pink. So I just did a light yellow and I think it's 745 DMC in this pot. They have you fill it in with another color, but I really like how it looks without being filled in. So I left it uh, glad they had a darker color. I left it as a lighter color. Uh, there's 
I definitely made some changes, but not drastic change, and I'm gonna bring it in. You could see the ram up there. I did put in the year 2022 right there. And I did change some of the pink colors. I use Victorian motto for like four colors. So I'll be included pictures at the end where you could see the colors I used. I'm so excited it is done. I started this on April 2nd and I finished it on April 29th. So yeah, pretty much 28 days. Uh, this is really what I worked on all month and it is not my stitching season, <laughs> so winter's over. Uh, I'm out hiking every day after work. I actually, last weekend I put in another garden all by myself. I had three cubic yards of soil dumped <laughs> on my lawn by a dump truck. I'll include a picture of it right here. And I actually put this this garden together in one day. I started early in the morning and I finished at 9 p.m. at night. I picked the hottest day of the year. It was in the 80s, so I had to stop in the middle of the day. It was just too hot for me. And you have to pace yourself <laughs> when putting together a garden. Uh, three of the beds were a no-dig bed, and then one of them... Um, is a birdies. It's a raised bed that I put together. Uh, wood chips, all kinds of stuff. Planted seeds. They're sprouting. I'll include pictures for you. Um, I was going to do a video at the end of the garden, but I think the pictures will be just fine. I'll try and keep it consolidated. Uh, so I did finish that piece. I'm excited to get it framed and out there. And hanging up on that wall see that spot right over there put it right up in there somewhere <laughs> um, I'm sitting in my stitching recliner I switch things up a little bit on the videos uh, try and change it a little bit so that is what I've been working on next is I bought a couple charts only two and these were the other two from market that I wanted to get that I don't know why I didn't get it. I don't know what happened. I must have forgot or something, but I really wanted these. And this one is Keeper of the Pins. And of course, doesn't everybody have this one, really, with a needle and thread? I think I've seen people stitch them up. And they're cute little bowl fillers, you know, dull bowl, baskets, whatever you have uh, to place these in. So I did get that. And of course, Seasons of the Heart. Of course, by with that needle and thread also. She, She's banging it out of the park every every year. <laughs> She's amazing. All right, there, and then there, the other two are on the back. So you do get all of them. Now, in this pattern, and I want to make sure I don't show you any of the pattern, but she does include the letters, and it's not a hard card stock. It's not what I thought it was going to be. So what I did is I have a shop on Etsy that I really like and he does wood etching and I got winter, spring, summer, and fall. And I'm going to attach these uh, these little wooden pieces, I think, will look amazing. Like on the, however you finish it. Now the good news is, is I have five extra sets. Now, when I order from this gentleman, he's definitely overseas. He's in a different country, and I do love supporting people on Etsy. I know Etsy has been really increasing their fees for everything. Even for shipping, they don't pay for shipping, so I'm not quite sure why they're raising fees on shipping. And it really affects the people that are artists who are just trying to uh, make a living. I know everybody, a lot of people have started their own websites, so 
it does people push people to do other things so what I did is you have to order so many from them and I got five extra sets so I'm gonna be giving those five extra sets away if you have the pattern and you want winter spring summer and fall on these little uh, winter tags you know these little wooden tags winter spring summer fall all you have to do is leave a comment below and put tag uh, in in the comments uh, and I will be picking five winners on my next video and I will definitely be mailing those out on this video I am going to be I picked the winners for the patterned year and I usually attach a, wit a video and show you, you me picking the winner. I use the random comment generator. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I just find that some people just don't check back or not. I'm going to leave a comment on the people that won on the last comment. And hopefully they get the message and contact me. I just find that easier. I'm honest. I Listen, I'm in my sixth year of floss tube. I'm not looking to just pick a certain name or something. I don't know the two people who won. I, I know their names and comments, but I do have two winners. So check your comments. You might be a winner. So I, I did pick the winners of that. And the next thing I'm going to be talking about is I put out a special video a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going be, to be doing Christmas in July ornament exchange. And this is the photo I used for that. And then I actually printed up a whole bunch of these. I'm going to be sending out reminders to everybody who joined. And you will be getting this. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. You'll get this in the mail as a reminder. Now, there's a lot of people who joined already. There's well over 50 people. I am conducting the exchange a little bit different. I'm having everybody mail their ornament to me. And I'm personally going to be mailing out an ornament to everybody <laughs> who's in the exchange. Uh, the reason why I set it up like that is if you ever joined an exchange before and you mailed out your piece and you never got anything back, that's the reason why. A lot of times in an exchange, they will give you a person and the address and you make an ornament and send to them and then you're supposed to get one back and a lot of times you never get something back. So what I'm doing special is when I get all of the ornaments in, I'm going to be doing a video and I'm going to be showing everybody's video, you know, everybody's ornament on the video. And whatever ornament you receive, you'll watch that video and you'll know who made it. Uh, it's definitely a different way to do it. It's only $8 shipping uh, where you could send in a check or PayPal if you want to join the exchange send me an email don't leave me a comment below i can't tell you how many people sent a comment you have to send me an email and then i will send you the instructions for the exchange with my address to mail out the ornament uh, you do include either a check for eight dollars a paypal or if you want you could send cash in the mail i don't recommend that these days but whatever's easier for you and that's because i'm mailing them out in a bubble wrapper and i'm also mailing out a reminder. I'm not making any money on this. And I wanted to do something for the cross stitch community where everybody can participate in the United States. I am sorry for all my out of country stitching friends, but the shipping is too expensive and it takes way too long. These little wooden tags, these took well over a month to get. And that's the reason why it's just the shipping delay mostly, not, not so much the shipping cost, but the delay. And I apologize for that, but this is for everybody in the United States. Uh, if you feel like you're not good enough to join, I, I highly encourage you to join and just do your best work. Now, a couple of people reach out to me. I gave some examples of some ornaments uh, in that. So I pulled out some more. Yes, you can do a pillow ornament. Like I was just showing different shapes. I wasn't even thinking about, <laughs> I was just giving ideas and I didn't, even pick up on that I didn't show a, an, a pillow one but there's one this is my gingerbread man there's an, there's an example here's another pillow one that's an example these are the birds they're super pretty and I did ruching on this one the back here's discipline flat round one 
whatever style you like to stitch that's all now this one I'm showing again and this is by I got a lot of questions on this like who did that who's the designer this is actually of course blackbird designs this is in the just cross stitch ornament issue from 2013 isn't it beautiful it is gorgeous I really just look at that piece and I did put some silver in there you can see it it's a beautiful piece and I'm gonna show you what is so funny I was bringing out the magazine yeah it's it's in this magazine 2013 and on the cover I didn't even notice and I actually talk about there is no coincidences on this one what is in here the birds the birds right here is the birds that I just showed you right here it's in the same issue isn't that funny and I'm gonna show you this is on page the blackbird design is on page here I'll show you right here it's in the beginning of the magazine and I'll show you what it looked like in the magazine there it is now they actually they put it in a frame so I love the older just cross stitch ornament issues I think they're I think they had I just think they were so much better I'm not I didn't even get the last couple of years I just there's a lot of designers not in there anymore that I really loved and Blackbird was definitely one of them but there you go there is some ideas to join the cross stitch uh, exchange here in July your ornament has to be post dated by July 1st in the middle of the July I'm gonna do the video and then I'm gonna mail out all the ornaments to everyone it's a fun way for everybody to participate in and you don't have to leave your home uh, as I was explaining in my last video a lot of people cannot attend the retreats they're very expensive for travel if you have to fly just the airfare hotel it definitely a weekend could cost you a thousand dollars easily uh, so I wanted to give something out of the comfort of your home that you can participate in and it'll be a lot of fun now here is the really good news I reached out uh, to some of my boss tube friends <laughs> I've been on here like I said this is I've been doing this since 2017 February so all of these people on the list except for one has made me an ornament or a cross stitch piece and I love their work I love them I watch them on the floss tube um, a lot of them started around the time I did making their videos and if you think and if you're on the fence like oh I don't know if I want to do it you might want to do it because you'll definitely somebody's gonna be getting one of these people's ornaments and they're super talented in no particular order uh, Amy loves toads Amy's gonna be participating she has a floss too Melanie Smith from yarns and threads Melanie is super talented she doesn't do just cross stitch um, she spins I mean just just go watch Melanie she's really good she's definitely multi-talented definitely with uh, knitting big you know she's just talented uh, half stitch cross stitch Dina is going to be participating uh, super talented uh, Dina is a lot of fun uh, stitching by the lake Marlene now I met Dina and Marlene uh, several years back we had lunch together in Tennessee and love these ladies uh, definitely if you don't know who they are go visit their floss too then we have uh, Melly Ellie stitches Melanie is she's just near and dear to my heart I'll go visit her floss tube she's participating we have Kelly Stadola that's so Kelly from that so Kelly call now she has an Etsy shop and a floss tube she's a graphic designer she does amazing work if you don't know Kelly I'm gonna leave links below for everybody then we have crafty cat Kathy her and her stitch uh, her sister attended my retreat a couple of years ago and Kathy is awesome she's super talented and then we have Vana Pfeiffer is in this exchange so 
if you ever wanted a Vanna Pfeiffer ornament, <laughs> you might want to join this exchange. Von, I know Vanna going back to the blog days. Um, highly respect Vanna. She's got a ton of tutorials. If you don't know who she is, I don't know how you wouldn't know who she is, but you might be new to cross stitch and you might not know some of these people. I'm going to leave links below for everybody. I do have a couple more tentative plus to this, but I haven't gotten a confirmation. So if I don't get a confirmation, I'm not going to uh, put that out there. They might have other things going on. And that is everybody who's going to be, uh, those are some of the people you might know. Now I want I want to make it clear that there's over well over 50 people already in the exchange. There is a lot of talent out there, and I'm excited to see everybody's ornament. Uh, it's the people watching that really um, make these exciting, and they are just as important as the people who make the videos. We share our videos to share cross-stitching and give cross-stitch inspiration. It's just sharing our love for the hobby. Not everybody wants to make videos, but there's a lot of people out there that watch the videos. And there are, at this time, probably hundreds of plus tubers to watch. It is very hard. Um, I watch people that kind of started around when I did. You can only watch so many people. So you can't watch everybody. It's impossible. And that is just the way it is. Uh, so much talent out there. Uh, just. Every, there's a different flavor for everyone and you know everybody has a different style uh, everybody has different talents uh, down below I you know I include my tutorials that I put out there for people to finish pieces or stockings or whatever vana has got a ton of them there's a ton of people that really just put their work out there so that we share this hobby and spread this hobby and this community uh, I'm excited for the exchange. I'm shocked at how many people, I only put one video out and um, haven't even talked about it since. And there's a lot of people already participating. It's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a lot of people from different states. Uh, so it's gonna be fun to see what everybody is stitching and how awesome that I'll be able to share that with all of you, even if you cannot participate or do not wanna participate in the exchange. I'm gonna include some footage of uh, the garden and how I put that together. Uh, definitely been out in nature hiking a lot. Uh, I just love hiking, it's just my zen. I feel at home on the trail and it took me a while to get there but I, I love it. I just love nature and the quietness and the birds. <laughs> Tons of birds out there uh, always on the trail. And I'm going to just share some of that footage and pictures. Uh, this week, my son is coming and he's going overseas for a couple of months. So I'm going to have his dog, Grandpa. His name is Grandpa the dog. And I'm going to have him for a couple of months. My son is going to Greece and he's going to go visit his cousin who is there. And he's going to do a lot of traveling. And I, I I really tried to talk him into go do it, do it now, do it while you can. And I'm excited that my son is gonna go and, you know, on his dream trip and go and travel overseas. So he's gonna have a lot of fun, but I'm gonna have his dog and grandpa hikes on, I hike every day about three to five miles. That dog hikes probably five to seven miles a day. So I'll be taking him out in the morning on my lunch break after work, we'll be hiking the trail. So he'll keep me busy for a couple months and it'll be fun uh, to have a dog around for a while. He's a good boy and that's what's new. Now, on this piece that I stitched, this is the day. I will say, I had my bathroom redone. They finished that bathroom in three days. This took me almost a month. So you don't really realize how much time you're putting into a piece until you have something like major done in your house. I still have to, um, I'm still contemplating if I'm going to put tile on the walls or just paint. The whole bathtub, shower area is done, you know, everything else. It's just the walls that I either want to tile or paint. And I am leaning towards uh, paint. So that'll be another project I'll be doing. It's a, it's a bathroom. It's small. It won't take a lot of work. But those are the things going on. I had a lot going on this month, a lot of upgrades and adding things. And uh, 
for some sunflowers and zinnias. They're sprouting. I'm going to show pictures. It's so exciting to see your seeds sprout. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. And until we meet again, happy stitching. Thank you.